Hello everybody and welcome back to my podcast. For those out there that do not know me, my name is Alicia and I'm a special events professional. I first got my feet started in the industry as a meet and catering coordinator to now working as a special events professional at a nationally accredited college. Um, So today we're going to jump right into the podcast. Um, So today I'm going to be talking about conversational pieces that your guests will rave about. Um, And we're just going to jump right into it. And also, after this podcast, go ahead and check out my Instagram because I have a giant cannoli picture on there that I want you guys to see. And you're going to understand why I'm telling you to go over there to check it out because the first thing on this list is a something, a giant something. And on my page, I have the giant cannoli that was used at an, at an event and that was what guests saw guests want it and guests raved about so that's what i mean find a giant something that's normally that's normally not giant and make that like the focus point of the food bar or you know try get people's attention and uh you can definitely um look stuff up to see what giant thing that's normally that's normally not giant what can you fine so on my instagram i have the giant cannoli so definitely go check that out because i know a lot of people probably never seen one before so i definitely have a picture on there uh number two if you're having a decades party have everything you could possibly be fine from that era like games candy clothing music records etc and design your party with that you you know if it's a decade party really take them back to that decades really go show up show out really like oh my gosh i remember this oh my gosh i had this as a kid oh my gosh i used to eat these all the time you know that's what you want when you're having a decades party to bring them back to that time frame flashback you know just let them forget about today and take them back to when times were good, times were easy, you know, take them back to the fun times of their life and rock out like that. Um, and then, um, that's also going to get them raving too, especially if you find little stuff from that era, you can also design your party with, um, calendars too, like have different, uh, design like calendars from that era so you could probably go on sd i mean not sd you could probably um make a calendar you know just plug in whatever the decade is and print out some calendars or you can go on ebay to see what kind of calendars you find um and buy them and then just kind of like break the calendar apart and have like different the calendar spread about the party you know, so people can be like, oh, my gosh, my birthday was on this date and back in, like, the 1980s. Oh, my gosh, you know, I was such and such. So, you know, you really want to just bring it back to the old school. Um, So I will be doing a podcast episode on that because I think that will be something fun and I can help you guys generate some cool ideas. Um, And even if you decide to have a virtual decades party, that's still going to be fun. It's still going to be entertaining, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to, I'm, I might do that tomorrow. I'll make some notes and uh, do that, get that to you guys tomorrow. But I'm telling you, you take it all the way back with, with the decades party, the, the guests will be raving about that forever. They are going to be raving about that forever. Um, so that's definitely ways to reel them in, take it back to the old school. Uh, number three, candy as face fillers so you can find like cool candy like hard candy um and soft candy and put it in like a nice clear vase and um have like a cool centerpiece and obviously the candy is going to be the focus point of at the tables i would not recommend or advise uh, you to allow your guests to eat the candy inside because that's just no it's not the take it's not the table bar it's not the candy bar um, but no, cause you know, you've handled that with your hands and, you know, stuck flowers in it or something or did something with it. So it's just not candy. Um, it's just mainly for the vase filler, like I said. Um, but if they do want some candy, obviously you can set up a dessert bar or candy bar and let them dig from there. But I will not advise you to allow them to 
dig out candy from a vase at the table unless it's separate and um individually wrapped um number four have an amazing menu have a mouth-watering menu because people like to eat regardless of the fact if the person is on a diet if they're on some sort of um weight loss journey or something they're still going to want to try something new if you do know people that are um you know no longer eating meat um or they have entered into a weight loss phase and you know a lot of people turn to social media to you know post about their journey and post about stuff like that make sure that you can i'm not saying go all out but if you know more than one person is going through this or you know more than one person does not eat meat anymore or you know you have a couple vegans and vegetarians that jot their names down you know um so that way you're able to better enter you know serve them so if you know like a couple handful of your guests in the crowd that you want to that you want to um invite our vegan have a vegan menu have vegan stuff, vegan candy bar, and vegan this and vegan that. Um, even if you want to put, if it's like a small amount of people that are vegan, you could put it. And you're having a wedding, you can put all your vegans at the at the same table if you choose to, and um, just let the uh, caterer know that the, that this table, table ten, is these ten folks here, and they are vegan. So everything around them needs to be accommodating to their life journey um and also have like favorite set aside that are vegan you know really make them feel wanted maybe make them fit and you know let them know too like hey i see that you're vegan now you're you know or you're um and it's a few other people that don't eat meat so i did i did um set up a separate menu for you Uh, for the vegans and I just wanted to let you guys know so you guys won't you know be wondering how are you guys going to enjoy yourself especially you know if they're if you're vegan because you know everybody's not vegan here but I just definitely wanted you guys to come out enjoy yourself and know that I got you you know so people will definitely take consideration into that um and want to come and you know meat eaters probably be curious to see what kind of menu they got going on over there so hopefully they won't navigate to eating up the vegans food but just have a nice menu for the vegans as well and gluten-free people and stuff like that if you have enough people or you know at least one person that you really really like and you could make an accommodation to get some gluten-free stuff for them go ahead and do that um, and last but at least have a great time with the music, entertainment, food, conversation, decor, such a memorable time that they will always remember. Because that's all it's about, especially when you are inviting people out. You want them to have a great time. You want your name to be like, Oh man, such and such have another party or cookout or you know, something. Yeah, I gotta I gotta stop by there. I gotta go there. I had such a great time the last time. The food was amazing last time. The energy was oh amazing the last time. So yeah, I gotta go stop by just to say hey and show my face and see what's going on, see who's all there, you know, stuff like that. So you want people to be excited when they hear your name. You want people to to remember the last time that they came out uh to your gathering and how much fun they had, how how peaceful it was, the uh, the great and amazing positive people that they met before. You know, that's what you want people to remember. That's what you want people to um uh jump out of their seats. As soon as they see see something from you, they're gonna be like, Okay, what am I gonna wear? What what how how am I gonna get there? You know, so that's what you want people to do. Uh have a good reputation representation a good rep for your name pretty much especially in general not just you know when you're having something but in general uh but definitely when you do have something show up and show out on your budget so um those are my little tips i hope that you guys enjoyed this podcast episode Go ahead and click the link in my bio to go and check out that giant cannoli. And since you're already there, you might as well hit that follow button. And I would love to have you. 
tomorrow I will be doing a decades podcast episode. I think that's definitely something fun, something that I will enjoy, something that you will enjoy. And I'm probably going to go through uh, all the decades, really, you know, because this is something that comes naturally to me. And this is my own thoughts and opinions. So if I were to get X to do a such, uh, uh, let's say, come a nineties baby. So I'm gonna go there. If I get asked to do a nineties party, how would I decorate it? How, how, what, you know, what would I do for that decade? So these are going to be my own opinions and stuff like that. And this is definitely a valuable thing. Cause if you were to meet with like a wedding planner or an event planner, to discuss something like this, they would charge you uh, hundreds to thousands of dollars and you're going to get some uh, knowledge and, and, and ideas for free. So why not come over and jot these notes down and move forward from there, share this, uh, and I, and I will see you tomorrow.